it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers the high level yeah. one from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Pantera! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, the Apex. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Right hand on the counter is true. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Over and over again, big body kick. And there comes the separation now. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, he goes to the uppercut, and he lands to the head. He lands a beautiful uppercut right as he comes in close. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. 
Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Got the single follow tie. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just over three minutes to go round one. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Checks that leg kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, big head kick land. Not there. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Just look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. All right, single collar tie now. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Nice strike. It goes upstairs for an elbow. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Straight right, he misses. And they separate. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Straight punch land. Strong defense there to block the shot. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, you saw his reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Single collar tie now. Boy, Thai plunks. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Liver kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice leg kick. This fight throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him. Too. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Oh, collar tie. Big knee lands to the body. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab has landed consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Watch the shot. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Good punch, land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He throws the right hand there. And they separate. Big leg kick land. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Big leg kick land. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He blocks the shot. Oh! Elbow up into the target. Right hand punch for Clinton. Now a knee. Nice punch lands over the top. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Nice kick. Oh, huge block. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. That was a nice strike. Right. Single collar tie here, and they separate. How about that shin? All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. That's a big strike right there. Nice head kick. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Right hook to the body. Back and forth we go here. Nice. Beautiful leg kick throw. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body, again, making great use of his length in this matchup. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. 15 seconds to go. Look at him drive his shin into the wall of the with that body shoot. All right, that's the end of round number two. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out. But it does excite me for the next round. 
All right, next round is now underway. Good Hopefully fight. the action continues right. at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh! Throws the teeth here and lands it. So a good sign that he was able to get that front kick to the desired target. He was able to get it to the target and in these moments realize what type of striker we're watching. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight. He's winning this fight going away and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. All right, he engages in the single collar tie and he continues to work the body here. All right, so a nice shot. Oh. with that right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Beautiful strike. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice shot to the body there. Lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Ooh, what a head kick. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Right hand punch to clinch. Just misses with the left hook. All right, single collar tie now. What a body kick. And there comes the separation now. Oh, big punch land. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything in. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. That's 
three rounds in the can, we're headed to the championship round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here. Oh! He had a hurt. Back to the feet. He can't even, he can barely stand. Oh, collar tie. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way, and in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called stop for this contest at one minute, six seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by number the And apex. there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight. 